A warm welcome to Newton Gate Academy. I hope you all are studying very well. Now today I will give you a lesson on adjective. We find it that grammar is a very boring portion, very boring subject, but it is not. I will give you a interesting thing today, which will help you out to find it a unique thing. Now see, what is adjective? Adjective is a very important and interesting thing in grammar section. Now, an adjective is a word used to modify or describe a noun or pronoun. They are always near the noun or pronoun they are describing. Now, if you want to describe something, you have to put adjective whether it is noun or whether it is pronoun. Before or after noun or pronoun, you can use adjective. Now, I am giving you one example. See, the boy is very smart and the girl is very beautiful. Now, what I am telling to that boy? The boy is smart. So, smart is adjective and the girl is very beautiful. For that reason, beautiful is adjective. You are telling something to someone. You can use adjective. Okay. Now, there are many least okay, in adjective. Now, I am giving you some examples. You will find many examples from here. Now, abundant, accurate, addicted, adorable, barren, bashful, beautiful. These all are examples of adjective. You can adjectify to something or someone. So it's a very interesting thing, right? That you are telling someone she is beautiful or you are telling someone he is very smart. That's a very nice thing. Now, everything has a rules, right? So in adjective also there is rule which you have to follow. See, at first point it is written for most adjective at ly. Means basically we use ly. Patient and patiently. After patient you have to put ly for writing patiently. For adjective ending in y, change the y to i and add ly. Now suppose it is written easy. So after easy you can't write e s e a s y l y. This will be the wrong answer. Now what will be the right answer? It will be e a s i l y. Easily. Okay, the spelling will be easily. Now third point is for adjective ending in C and A double L Y. Now suppose it is written automatic. Now what will you write automatically? A U T O M A T I C A double L Y. Automatically. This will be the correct answer. Now, fourth point is very much important. See the fourth point. Some adverbs of manner are irregular. That is that they don't end in ly. Now, you can't write ly or a double ly like this. You can't write in irregular adverb. Now, what you will write? See in this example, it is written good. Now, in good, Beside good, you can't write goodly, right? So what you will write? You will you have to write well. W E double L. Next point is some irregular adverbs have the same form as the adjective. Now here it is written fast. So beside fast, you can't write fastly. You have to write fast. So, these are very important things which you have to capture.
capture now another thing so this is also very interesting you will find it very interesting proper adjective now what is proper adjective now in first sentence it is written he lives in russia okay so russia what is russia russia is a noun it is a name of a country right for that reason you have to write it proper noun now in second part it is written he eats russian caviar so russian caviar is not a noun it is a name of a food for that reason it is proper adjective what he wants to eat what he likes to eat he likes to eat russian caviar now in next example you will find out the order of adjective now there are different type of adjective okay in the next page also i will say you how many adjectives are there see determiner opinion size shape age color origin material purpose now there is all are the order of adjective now in color you have to write red blue in color portion you have to write the adjective of color in age portion you have to write the adjective of age in shape portion you have to write adjective of shape like this you have to follow the order now comparing with adjective an adjective has different forms of comparing comparative adjectives compare two people places thing or ideas it is very obvious right children that whenever we compare something or someone there should be two thing or two person otherwise how you will compare something or someone right i know you people are very intelligent you know this much so this road is longer than one the road is longer than the other road right chocolate is very delicious than vanilla so i know that chocolate is more delicious than vanilla most of the students find chocolate only delicious thing right so these are the thing which you can compare now in next question it is written descriptive adjective and determiners so what is it in traditional grammar a word like he is these many and even a and the are classified as adjective in traditional grammar okay now however in contemporary grammar such words are classified as determiners see below there are some list see the category and example appearance attractive body color blue cyan condition absent broken personality annoying brave quantity ample bountiful sense aromatic bitter size and shape broad and circular time asian brief i have given you some examples but you will find more examples outside also so these are all example in category portion there is appearance and example that she or he is very attractive in color portion the color of the sky is blue in condition the flower vase is broken like this you can adjectify something so these are all examples okay now in next page it is very interesting thing you know children now how it is interesting say so adjectives are invariable they do not change their form depending on the gender or number of the noun now here is two example in one branch one green bird and in second branch it is written six green birds so how you will can change it see the color of the bird is same green bird if it is one also then also it is a green bird if it is two also or six also then also it is a green bird only so it will not change whether it is one or two it doesn't matter the color of the bird will be green only 
Now children, I have given you many interesting topics and things on grammar, right? So I want to ask you some questions. So these are the questions. Try to fill up the question and if you have any problem to fill up this question, then please contact us. Contact us. I hope that you find it very interesting chapter today's lesson and in next lesson I will give you more interesting part on other chapter. So if you like this video then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you all of you.